Welcome folks, Mac T back, and we have an oil testing series anew with the Max Oil Pro Max Oil and the Max Oil Pro Max Nano Plus. Yeah, two head to heads from the same oils, and I am currently running the Nano Plus in both of my vehicles. So we're just about done with that testing. The miles on there, they're both going to like 200, 250 hours. But let's see what the virgin oil analysis says about both these oils. And then once I get the testing complete, we'll see what the used oil analysis are. So starting right out, we got the Max Oil Pro Max 5W20 synthetic. And we have also uh, the Max Oil Pro Max Nano Plus. And that's starting out, the Nano Plus is running almost $29 for 5 quarts, and that's about $5.79 a quart, where the uh, Max uh, Oil is merely running at about $22 or $4.33 a quart. And you can get both of these oils at Walmart online, so I don't know that they carry it on the shelf, but you can get it at Walmart online which is where of course I got it now the Pro Max oil I tested initially as they stated in there and then the Nano Plus was tested and it has an 8.1 TBN which means it's just a little bit better oil in that aspect but hey we'll see what the ultimate results are because both of them even though they're the same company they have different versions of what they're doing first in the aluminum the Pro Max Nano Plus has one part per million aluminum, whereas the Nano or the uh, Pro Max uh, oil, Max Oil, does not. Uh, chromium, neither one have any chromium in them. Iron, we have the Nano Plus has one part per million, and the uh, Pro Max Max Oil has zero. The copper content is zero across the board for both. The lead content in the Nano is one part per million where the Pro Max Max Oil is zero. We have 10 in the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil has zero. We also have Molly B. That is 40 parts per million for Molly B in the Nano Plus, but the Max Oil comes out at 193 parts per million, so it has a definite lead advantage there. Nickel is zero across the board for both. Manganese is zero across the board for both oils as is silver across the board, zero. Titanium, neither one have any titanium in them, and we have zero potassium in the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil has one part per million. Boron is two parts per million for the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil is five parts per million. The silicon is four parts per million for the Nano Plus, with five parts per million for the Max Oil. The sodium is one part per million for both of them, and calcium is 2,311 for the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil comes in at a mere 1825, which is below the universal average. Mangan magnesium is nine parts per million for the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil has 48 parts per million, both under the universal average. Phosphorus is 744 for the Nano Plus, with the Max Oil coming in at 1,001, which is both of them above the universal average. Zinc is 803 for the Nano Plus and 1,112 for the Max Oil, making them both way above the universal average of 774. And the barium is zero across the board for both oils. So who we got here? The SUS viscosity at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. We have 54.1 for the Nano plus and uh, we have the max oil at 54.5 pretty much a dead heat there viscosity at cst viscosity is 8.50 for the nano plus and it is 8.62 for the pro max max oil and the flash point is 430 for the nano plus where it's 410 for the max oil uh, no fuel in them because they're virgin oil samples uh, water uh, insolubles, nothing there to complain about, but our TBN is 8.1 for the Nano Plus, and the Max Oil is a very low 5.9 in my opinion. Uh, I'm sure it will do well in testing in the future, 
but uh, it may not be able to haul the load, but uh, 8.1 is, is a decent number. It's pretty much uh, going to run across the averages there for a TBN. Now, one thing that we do want to cover is I have the SDS sheets here for them, and they, of course, have all their trade secrets and everything else. Uh, the thing is, the formulations are not going to vary too much because you can see the Nano Plus and the uh, Max Oil. Uh, Pro Max, both the same. Okay, there's nothing different for the SDSs on them if you look at them. So, uh, you know, tallow is probably the most notable thing. You don't see too much tallow in motor oil, but that's what they got in both of them. Now, as far as the numbers go, we have our uh, numbers compared the Max Oil to the Pro, uh, Pro Max Nano, as you can see. And the total number count, of course, is right there in the sheet. And uh, it definitely is a tail of the tape uh, with one having a little bit higher number than overall. But I will note that the Pro Max Oil Pro Max is right under the AMS Oil as far as additives. That's right. In my testing combined, the AMS Oil is, the Pro Max uh, Oil is right on its tail as far as additives. Two different groups of oils, but right on it as far as additives. Overall, dollar for dollar, the uh, Pro Max uh, Nano, hey, is uh, definitely more expensive than the Pro Max. And then the estimated Group 3 mineral oils they make it out of, which is uh, pretty much what they told me over the phone. Uh, I don't know how many miles, but I'm going to say three to 5,000 more oil based on the fact of the TBN. It's a low TBN, so... Uh, I don't have used oil analysis to see how far it drops on use. And the frequency of chain is, a, a, of course, a good thing for this oil. You know, if you're not sure, your three to 5,000 mile oil change it would probably do you justice there. But follow your owner's manual. Now, as far as the Nano Plus, uh, over a dollar more per quart than the Pro Max. And uh, it is a Group 3 oil based on all my conversations. They assure me it is, but... Yeah, you know, that that's how we're going to look at it. Uh, my future testing is going to determine the used oil performance. 250 highway use miles. I'm over uh, 10,000 miles now on it, so I got about another 20, 30 hours to go. Then we'll have our 250 hour long term test. Frequency of change is of course good. If in doubt, always change your oil, and then of course follow your owner's manual for the information. Now, as far as the anti-wear and detergent uh, dispersant war goes, uh, the total combined uh, numbers for the Pro Max of 4,184, which makes it the highest additive oil I have tested to date other than the Red Line and the AMS oil. That's right. It is the highest additive testing, but that ain't the oil I'm using. I am using the Pro Max Nano Plus. And its total combined number is 3,909. It's only about 280 behind, but either way, uh, it is definitely on the lower side and is right up under the uh, Pro Max oil. So we're going to see how it does. It has those nano things in it. And to explain the nano things is, it's essentially spherical diamonds is what I'm getting out of the deal. Uh, it's a new additive that people are trying to use, such as the ceramic additives and everything else. So we'll see how it turns out as far as anti-wear and how this all works out. But overall, that's pretty much the information I have on this oil for the virgin oil analysis of this uh, oil. And these two that are both from the same family and same company. We'll go ahead and uh, see what the oil test results for the used oil analysis will be in the future. Uh, this is Mac T Ford Edge, and you can find me, of course, on YouTube, and most definitely get a hold of me on Facebook, Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. Don't forget my MacTGarage.com, where you can go and buy all sorts of things like T-shirts, get information on your vehicle, and and everything else that you may need to deal with your Ford vehicle as far as the Ford Edge. ST, Lincoln MKX, all that good stuff. And also, MacTGarage.com has all sorts of other information in it with parts and everything else. MacT Garage on Facebook and YouTube. That's right, I got MacT Garage on Facebook. You can join that. MacT Garage on YouTube has some videos not covering the Ford Edge, but other things. 
and you can check, definitely check that out. But my feet hit the floor today. Am I having a great day? I want you to have a great day too. With that being said, Panda One has some great music for you, and Mercy Grill has a couple one-liners and maybe a little bit of bonus footage at the end. No tools, folks. I only had it hand tight, and it held for 50,000 miles or so, whatever it was, 40-some. Anyway, uh, no tools. I just tied my plug hand tight. There's a gasket on it. Undid it with my fingers. <laughs>